This is Dr. Arajit Majin with Prime Coral, and for this video, we're going to talk about very brown corals. What's wrong with this picture of this reef? Pretty much every coral here is beautifully colored, with the obvious exception of this one right here. So what happens if we take one of these really brown corals in an otherwise healthy tank? We break up its branches as it RTNs, and we take a look at what is in the branches, which has now left the branches and it's now in the water around the branches. So what we have here is an overwhelming infection of the coral with the RTN parasite called Philaster. These are all philaster parasites. They're small, microscopic microorganisms. They're of the um, an animal kingdom, and they're in the protozoan or protista um, domain. So every one of these is a single cell organism, and they have cilia on the outside. And there's two types of philaster that infect coral, philaster lucinda and philaster guamens. You can actually tell the difference morphologically. We have a mixture of both types here, Philaster lucinda and Philaster guamens. They both eat coral, they both are filled with zooxanthella, and they both cause RTN of all types of coral. Many people are not understanding my comments and videos online. They think that I'm talking about RTN of Acropora, but I'm talking about RTN of soft corals, large polyp stonies, and small polyp stony corals, as well as anemones. I have found this infection agent, this infectious agent, Philaster, causing the death of corals and anemones alike. It doesn't care if it's a soft coral or a hard coral or a long polyp coral. It is the cause of RTN of all corals, all different types of corals in your system. And when you have a coral that's bleaching and RTNing or just RTNing, losing its tissue, if you take that coral out quickly and put it in a little cup of salt water overnight, what will happen is these Philasters will come out of the coral tissue and skeleton, and you will see that your coral is massively infected with quite literally tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of these philaster parasites. Why can't we see them on our corals? Because they're microscopic. Nobody can see them. You must have a microscope to see them. The length of the average one is about 0.1 millimeter or a tenth of a millimeter long, so it's impossible to see with your eye. You must have a microscope. But if you take your RTNing coral, whether it's a zoanthid, a mushroom, a euphilia, cataphilia, anemone, uh, montipora, acropora, it doesn't matter. Whatever coral is dying in your system, it is loaded with these philasters. I have looked at now 1,000 RTNing corals, including zoanthids, mushrooms, goniaporas, gorgonians, I and mean, you name it, I've seen it RTN, I put it under the microscope and I found these 100% of the time. Not a single case have I not found a philaster in the tissue necrosis. Okay, so they're there every time. And I've taken these guys, I've cultured them in a pure culture. I introduced them to healthy coral that was not infected. And within two days, they caused RTN of some of the healthy corals that were not infected. And by the end of two weeks, I had at least 50% of the corals RTNing. And then I re-isolated these guys from the RTN coral. By doing so, I have proven coach's postulates, which are required in order to prove that a microorganism such as these protozoans is the cause of a disease. The disease in this case is coral RTN. There has never been another proven cause of coral RTN. There's been theories for the last 30 years that it's alkalinity or stress or temperature changes. None of those have ever been proven and we've all had times where our system undergoes alkalinity swings. Well, why aren't are the, all the corals dying? They're not dying with the alkalinity swing because the alkalinity swing is not causing the coral to die. The alkalinity swing may trigger an event that allows the philaster to consume the coral and cause RTM. But these philasters that you're seeing right now are in 100% of coral RTN. I guarantee it. That is what my results have shown and we need to get the message out to everybody because we're dealing with an infection, folks, an infection spread from coral to coral and tank to tank. So take necessary precautions.